Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Kavita Kovi, Consultant Obstetrician, Aster Women and Children Hospital, Whitefield. So today we are going to discuss about chicken pox in pregnancy. Chicken pox is caused by varicella virus. So many of them are very scared when they get chicken pox in pregnancy. Of course, there is a reason to be scared as well. So now chicken pox uh, in pregnancy, when it comes between 8 to 20 weeks, that is in the 8 weeks of pregnancy to 20 weeks of pregnancy, it can cause a lot of problem to the fetus, right? For the first 8 to 12 weeks, if at all some women catches uh, chicken pox in the uh, 8 to 12 weeks part of pregnancy, the book says there are 0.4% chances of congenital abnormalities for the fetus. Baby can have a cataract, they can have limb problems, multiple congenital abnormalities can arise in the fetus. But from 12 to 20 weeks, that raises to 4%. Right? So there can be more congenital abnormalities between 12 to 20, uh, 12 to 20 weeks of pregnancy. In the last trimester, just before delivery, unfortunately, if somebody develops a chicken pox, then that is also bad for the fetus. The baby will be de delivered with neonatal varicella syndrome. So that is also problematic for the baby. Now, how to diagnose and how to know that whether you have chicken pox or not. So obviously you would have not had chicken pox. You, could have sp you can speak to your parents and find out whether you had any history of chicken pox before. If you do not have, then you will start seeing small rash in the abdomen first and then it started spreading all over the area if you have any doubt take a picture or the video and you can consult your dermatologist or your obstetrician over online so that you are very sure that you do not have chicken pox so that when you walk into the hospital you are not giving that uh, virus to somebody else who's sitting next to you so always a video consult is better for the chicken pox rather than walking into the hospital but the minute you diagnose yourself or the doctor when you see these rashes it's always better you consult the doctor because there are medications which can reduce the viral load and make sure that things are okay for the baby and the fetus and for you as well sometimes adults can develop something called as pneumonia so that means varicella induced pneumonia is very dangerous you may also require uh, oxygen support so it can lead to problems so once you diagnose yourself or once the doctor tells you that it is chicken pox we immediately start you on the antiviral medications which will help you as well as the fetus. Sometimes you develop something called as shingles that is called as varicella zoster. So you will see a few lesions at a particular part of the body. It will not be all over the body. Shingles are very harmless and it will be very painful and itchy but they do not spread all over the body and they do not cause any problem to the fetus or the mother. So when you, when you have diagnosed with chicken pox or when you think that you've got chicken pox please seek medical help you there are medications which can make make the viral load lesser which can help you and your fetus kindly seek help so the seasons are sometimes how how do you make out when, when your child has got chicken pox please quarantine yourself or if you think there is a single lesion that is starting if your child or somebody in the family has got or if you are exposed to that person we can already give you prophylaxis so kindly contact the hospital or your doctor. Thank you very much.